Hi there. My name is Emma, and today we have a special lesson for you. So some of you have requested lessons before on our comment board at www.ingvid.com. And we like to accommodate you guys. We like to teach you the things you really want to learn. So this lesson is dedicated to a student named Einarth, who, or who asked for this specific lesson. So this lesson is on the preposition of. Now, I know a lot of you get confused with when to use of. Uh, some sentences seem to have it. Some words like a lot, a lot of, or is it just a lot? When do we use it? So this video is going to look at three different times we use of. So to begin with, I want to talk a little bit about possession. So we use of sometimes when we're talking about whose thing is it. So I'll, I'll explain this a little bit more clearly. So I have two sentences here. The leg of the chair is broken. The dog's leg is broken. In English, these are the two ways to show possession. By possession, I mean whose leg is it? It's the chair's leg. Whose leg is it? It's the dog's leg. So the first way is by using of the. The second way is just using apostrophe s. So for a lot of students, this becomes difficult and confusing because they think, when do I use apostrophe s? When do I use of the? Well, it's, it's quite simple, actually. So I have down here, I have when we use of the and when we use apostrophe s. So we use of the when we're talking about things that are not alive, objects. So for example, a chair. A chair is an object, it's not alive. But if we're talking about a part of the chair, to show possession, we can use of the. We wouldn't usually say the chair's leg is broken. You might hear native speakers say that a lot, but oftentimes in writing, we prefer of the when we're talking about objects and things that aren't living. So that brings me to my next point, apostrophe s. When do we use apostrophe s for possession? Well, we use it when we're talking about possessions of people, groups of people, organizations, countries, and animals. So for example, dog, it's an animal. So we would use apostrophe s. Whose leg is it? It's the dog's leg. So again, the leg of the chair is broken versus the dog's leg is broken. So here's a second example. In this case, I have the word, my father's house is really nice, or the house of my father is really nice. Now again, for possession, both of these are possibilities. You can use either, but in general, we prefer to use apostrophe s with people. So in this case, the sentence, my father's house is really nice, is the preferred sentence. We try not to really use this one. Although again, it's not grammatically incorrect, it's just preference. Okay, so now we're, we are going to move on to another case when you use of. So first of all, I talked about possession. Now I'm going to talk about expressions of quantity. So this has to do with numbers, when we're talking about the amount of something. Some expressions of quantity always have of. So we're going to go through that list first, the expressions that always have of. So let's look at some of these. The first one is a lot. This is a mistake I always see in students writing. They write a lot students, a lot businesses. You need of. So a lot of students watching vid. Period. Okay. A number, just like a lot, it's an expression we need of. A number of people study English. Lots. Lots is similar to a lot. It's just a little bit more informal. Lots of animals 
live in the zoo. A great deal. Another expression, we need of. A great deal of students hate exams. Now, in terms of the words majority or minority, we also need of. So we can say a majority of cats eat mice, or the opposite of that is a minority. I don't know if this is true, but a minority of cats eat mice. Again, key point, we need of. Finally, the word a couple. A couple of, a couple of, that's a good way to finish this sentence. A couple of superheroes were seen at the mall. So it doesn't matter what your sentence is, the main thing is that for these expressions, a lot, a number, lots of, a great deal of, a majority, a minority, a couple, they all need of. So now we are going to make things a little bit more complicated because English has a way of loving to do that for you students. And so we are going to look at expressions of quantity, a quantity, sorry, which sometimes have of and sometimes they don't. So here is a list of some expressions that sometimes use of and sometimes they don't. So we have all, most, almost all, many, much, a few, a little, one, two, three, etc. Both, several, some, and any. Now it would take too long to cover all of these, so I want you to think about what I'm going to say. It applies to all of them. So when do we use of and when do we not use of. So I'm going to write a sentence. Now of course this isn't true. All students don't hate math. Now if I don't use of, all students hate math, I'm talking about students in general. I'm not talking about a specific group of students. I'm not talking about my friends who are students. I'm talking about students of the world, just a very general statement. Now, if I turn this to all of the students, all of the students hate math. Now I'm talking specific, which means maybe it's a, a specific group of students I know. Maybe it's students in my class. I'm not talking generally now, I'm talking about a group of students that's specific. Similarly with most, if we say most, uh, most restaurants, expect a tip, most restaurants, sorry, most restaurants expect a tip, I'm talking again generally. I'm not talking about restaurants I know, I'm not talking about uh, specific restaurants, I'm just talking about all restaurants. Not all, but most restaurants within the world. So most restaurants expect a tip. Now if I want to make this specific, maybe I have a certain group of restaurants in mind. Maybe I'm thinking of restaurants of Toronto. That's a specific group. In that case, specific, I would add most of the, most of the restaurants expect a tip. Most of the restaurants in Toronto expect a tip. Most of the restaurants I visit expect a tip. So again, in this case, we've changed it to specific. So I'll do one more example of that. Almost all, almost all, almost all, almost all friends, Are kind. 
Almost our, all friends are kind. So now I'm talking about almost all of the friends in the world. I'm not talking about my friends. I'm not talking about your friends. I'm not talking about a specific group of friends, general. And again, in order to make this specific, the time we use of is to make this specific. Almost all of my friends are kind. So now I'm talking about a specific group of people. So there you have it, the three different cases of when we use of. First of all, we talked about possession, mainly with objects we use of. Secondly, we talked about expressions of quantity that always demand of. And finally, we've looked at some expressions where we sometimes use of depending on what our meaning is. So to do practice tests on this, I invite you to come visit our site at www.ingvid.com. Thanks. Take care.